The Battlefield 2042 beta is almost upon us, and I have a little bit of thoughts and kind of going over how to install as well as what's going to be in the beta. So let's jump right in and have a little bit of discussion here. Welcome, 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 welcome to Uplink. But before I get started, definitely do check out our podcast called The Battlefield Show, releasing every Friday. Myself and Sammy Boy talk about all things Battlefield, both past and present. And we're going to be going over our tips and tricks for the beta this Friday. So definitely don't miss out on that. I'm very much looking forward to the open beta and I can't wait to see what experiences are going to be like. I do hope we get to see some of those trailer moments, but let's start off with kind of how to get involved in the beta. So if you pre-order the game, get ready because the beta is coming tomorrow as this video is going to be released. But if you pre-ordered it on Steam, Origin, Epic Game Store or EA desktop app, definitely Keep an eye out, make sure that you you should automatically, once you go to the beta page, you should just be prompted with a download button. So make sure that you're keeping an eye out for that. If you pre-ordered it physically, make sure you keep an eye on your email inbox because that is where you will get the code. If you did it on Walmart or Amazon, you should be getting an email with that code specifically from those people. That's how you do it if you are going to, if you've already pre-ordered it. So let's say, hey, I really want those extra two days, but I'm still not sold on the whole game. So probably the best bet for you is to hop in and buy EA Play Pro. It's 15 bucks. You'll get it for a month. You'll be able to take advantage of the games on that specific platform. So instead of 60 upwards to 70 of upwards to $120, if you go with the max ultimate pro and Incredible edition. It'll be about $120. Uh, so if you don't want to spend that kind of money but are still wanting to get the extra experience in the beta, I mean, EA Play Pro is probably one of the best bets. Uh, it's something that I definitely looked over, uh, but it's perfectly perfectly set up for these occasions where you want a little bit more time in the game. That'd be my recommendation. But for the regular open beta, you'll just go in, download it. You can pre-download it right now by going to the page, either on Xbox or PlayStation or on whichever digital platform that you want and you can download it from there. Something that I also want to go into in this video, stepping us away from the how to download, because I think I gave a good clarification on what that is. And the beta is about 18 or so gigs on PC as well. I don't know why they set up the, the specifications to say 100 gigs, but uh, something that you would like to know if you are an owner of a PS4 and a PS5 or an original Xbox One or Xbox One X or X, whatever it is, if you buy the Series X and S versions or the PS5 versions, you will also get a dual entitlement of the PS4 and original Xbox ver Xbox One version. So that's something good to note. If you do plan to kind of hop between platforms, cross progression is a thing. So if you do plan on doing that, it's definitely a great option there. Now I want to talk about some of the details around the beta itself. There have been a, a surge of developers and community members hopping on the, the bandwagon to, to kind of give more details on what this beta means for the team. This beta is specifically around kind of gathering some information. Obviously, they aren't looking for a whole ton of information because they don't have the full specialist layout. They don't have all of the maps, but it's just giving a little bit of overview and how crossplay is going to work and how the size and scale of the maps are going to be, which is a huge concern for me. I feel like the maps are going to be way too big for the game and it's going to be very spread out and long. So that's something that I'm definitely concerned about. But this is exactly what they have to say on the age of the beta. So this is what Freeman has to say. Our open beta is now a few months old. We polish and enhance it to make sure that it's representative of the game we've built. But naturally, we're making daily improvements, changes, and enhancements all the time. Pardon our dust and enjoy the game. They also say, he also says this around Battlefield Portal and Hazard Zone. Battlefield Portal and Hazard Zone won't feature in our open beta and there's plenty of time between now and launch to show you more about these experiences. So that's something that, I mean, we're still waiting for details on Hazard Zone. We still don't exactly know what that mode will be, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing 
ultimately what it comes out to to become because there's a lot of leaks and data mines around that so i'm really excited to see where it takes us in the future and what what the size of those maps are going to be like in terms of the known issues they went and kind of detailed a lot of the issues that they're aware of and which is both really good but it's like uh-huh you, you guys are you're you're jumping the barrel you know it's gonna be a little bit a little bit choppy here so i so before this myself and partner on the channel dinko we're talking about the ways and kind of the state of the beta and how this beta is going to be a really good indicator of what the ultimate release is going to be obviously stuff like graphical changes and little things like that are going to be fixed hopefully uh the game's going to be release buggy i mean it's dice it's going to be very buggy and it'll probably have a rough launch because that's that's ultimately what they've become known for is that kind of a little bit of a, a, a buggy and shaky launch and then they ultimately put in the work to make the game really good over time so that's something but things like the size and the layouts of the maps obviously the objectives can change and move over and uh, but the the kind of layout of the game is going to be pretty indicative of the full release so this is going to be a, a really good look at what the game is ultimately going to be like obviously bugs and stuff will be fixed from this one to the full release hopefully more than likely but ultimately those big things are going to be part of the game as it goes on so if there's like a big change that you don't like in terms of how the whole game operates like a specific mode or something in terms of the map it's probably not going to get changed by the time launch is here so Keep that in mind as you're jumping in and playing this beta. But now let's jump in and talk about those specific things that they are aware of. They said minor visual changes and performance as well as graphical issues. This is a direct quote here. Our open beta is representative of progress made earlier in our development cycle. Many of these issues you encounter throughout the beta have already received a great deal of new attention and will continue to do so as we complete the final work on 2042. Enjoy the experience you can have with our gameplay and take confidence that there's more to show you on 2042 and natural optimizations that are made to raise performance above our high standards in these final weeks heading to launch. Another thing they point out is crossplay, and this is a, a big issue. Uh, and it, it started even with the alpha play test. They, Freeman went off, uh, I think it was either Freeman or Kevin, went off and detailed some of the process they had with crossplay it from leaks and kind of data mines it was added later on in the development process and i think we're really seeing some of the hiccups with that but crossplay in the beta is going to be very iffy uh, while you will be playing in similar uh, lobbies as everybody if you are on xbox series x or ps5 you're also going to be playing with pc and xbox series x players vice versa it's all in like one server group and then players on xbox one and ps4 will be in their own area uh, they say during the beta you will not be able to squat up with players on different platforms but you will encounter players from other platforms they said they're making great progress on their plans to have this feature fully available at launch and they'll keep us updated on their progress towards that goal so again it's something that they were definitely working on later at lot later in the development process and ultimately it could have been something that they that caused the delay because of how late they implemented it. So it's definitely something that is necessary in the game. And I hope that they work out these issues and for launch, we will be able to really party up with other people. They're also working on a comma rose feature. Uh, they say this battlefield veterans will be familiar with the staple of the gameplay experience in the open beta. You'll be able to play with our ping feature and use the right shoulder button or Q on PC to ping locations and enemy targets with supporting VO that helps reference to your squad. What's being highlighted. And they said, if all goes well, they'll look, uh, to show the full comma rows that otherwise didn't make this build. So it's something that they're working on. Uh, definitely more like, uh, it seems like they're ch switching it up a little bit more like the Apex style of things, which I'm a big fan of. I love the Apex ping system. So I think it's going to be great. They said HDR on PC isn't going to be working for the beta. They've had some issues with it, so they're just pulling it off. And they said uh, voice over IP is not going to be in the open beta. They said they're working to have this available in the full release, including for players who are squatting up cross-platform. 
Uh, they say, quote, we otherwise encourage you to you all to make use of the ping functionality in the game as well as to squad up in parties on console or join us on the Battlefield Discord if you're looking to chat whilst playing. So that's something that's kind of disappointing. Again, leaning into the, my conspiracy theory that um, the crossplay is really what slowed down the development of the game and that's ultimately why they had to delay it that's just my tinfoil hat theory we'll see if it actually comes true if anybody says that as i said there there are very specific and rare circumstances in which players can find that the visual effect associated with the emp blast will persist after death and can last through the remainder of the round which is just a funny little visual bug there they said if you run into this feature during the open beta Please just leave the server and rejoin so that you can get back to experiencing the gameplay. And then finally, uh, Xbox gameplay recording is not going to be implemented. They had an issue uh, late on with the beta process and you can't use the DVR functionality. It is not intentional. They want people, as many as possible, to be recording and clipping it. So if you did plan on recording clips on your Xbox directly, uh, I don't know, look into getting an external recorder or just kind of making sure you remember all of these things. And uh, <laughs> if you wanted to get away with like a really heavy lie, you probably could just like, oh man, I got this really cool kill where I jumped from an airplane into this tank and then blew up the tank and then like exploded everybody. You could say that and oh, but man, I, I didn't, I wasn't able to get it in, in recording because DVR didn't work. But yeah. So that's kind of disappointing on that front, but it's something that they're working on. So with that, I think I covered most of the things that are going on with the beta. Let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are and let me know what you're most excited about in the beta. What are you expecting to see? Uh, what are you most disappointed about? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the battlefield.